That's the idea. Make it sexy. I wasn't going to say that, but that's what, that's, what, that's what it boils down to. It has to be that way. It has to be something that's totally radiant and compelling. <clears throat> I mean, because that's how I experience it to be. It's what motivates me every day of my life and what motivates the people I'm, I'm inspired by to work crazy hard on stuff that is, on the face of it, not very rewarding financially or in any other way. Um, yeah, I mean, it just is incredibly exciting. When, when the ideas of sustainability are presented to you properly, right, or presented to people properly, I find that, I find it impossible. I find it, or it's almost never the case that people don't go, really? That's so interesting. Or, wow, or what about this? It is exciting and it's engaging and it means a lot to people. And I think that that's what is really making me feel excited and frustrated about the same, at the same time about the sustainability debate. People have got themselves into a situation where as professionals are happy to say kind of lame, mealy-mouthed things, and the public is happy and policymakers are happy to kind of go along with these mealy-mouthed, lame things. But it's just a, it's a waste because scratch the surface of the ideas a bit and suddenly they start shining. So why not? You know, why accept second best? You know, these things are amazing. This is all about how we do what we do. Not in a, in a for me, not in a, in, a, in a fluffy way. Right down to the, to the roots of it. How do we use resources? How do we uh, eat food? How do we make uh, uh, cities? All that stuff is, is, is the very essence of what sustainable living is. It's not about buying you know, organic uh, coffee or something in the periphery. It's the roots of all, how all this stuff fits together. And there's so many people that express that well. And they're getting lost in a more generic debate about how to you know, marginally change society in some way all that, you know, what we need to do is to get down to the roots of it. And it's the same for any society. Every society at some point needs to get down to the roots of what it's doing, why it's doing what it's doing. That's the, that's the golden question that's just so hard to reach. But at least how it's, how it's doing what it's doing. And, and what you get out of that uh, question when you take it seriously and you bring the right people into the conversation is that sustainability says not look how badly we're doing things. It's look how well we could be doing things. Apple is a fantastic company. Apple is an amazing lesson giver for so many pieces of society. Whether or not you believe in their, in, in, in their products or whatever, what we know is that they ask certain questions and they deliver certain answers. They don't say, this industry is bad. This industry could be improved. They say, let's improve it. They say, let's see what we can do better. And just against all the odds, in key sectors, they come out of the gates with cool things. Now, that's what sustainability could be. And there's definitely enough people in firepower and interest there. But that worldview needs to be born again. It needs to be re reignited. Um, if you see the video of Olaf Palmer in the 1970s talking about what 